The original inhabitants of the nation's capital, Abuja, are seeking inclusion in governance, respect for constitutional rights, and socio-economic opportunities for them to thrive like other Nigerians. They have now teamed up with the MacArthur Foundation and the Civil Society Group to launch a two-year project. A rights correspondent, Ismail Alwan, has this report. The FCT original inhabitants say they have been rendered stateless in their homeland since the creation of the Federal Capital Territory in 1976. According to them, the Land Use Act Decree of 1978 also appropriated their lands and handed it to the federal government. As a result, they say they have remained stateless, marginalized and poorly represented in governance. They are now seeking a constitutional change in their status and demand their rights as citizens of Nigeria. The 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of uh, Nigeria is a major source of the injustice suffered by the Federal Capital Territory original inhabitants. For example, the current stature of FCT makes the original inhabitants tasteless people. Sadly, the case of course to reform this constitutional lacuna have been ignored. Residing in over 858 communities, the FCT original inhabitants say they live with no portable water and lack proper sanitation and hygiene. In their view, their poor representation in governance has worsened their plight. They are now teaming up with civil society groups for a change. Uh, majority of the people in the FCT live in the suburbs. Although the FCT administration has established many, many health care, primary health care facilities. But the rural areas, the satellite towns, are bustling with people every day because they can't afford, of course, to stay in the city. So there's a huge population of satellite towns. And uh, the medical facilities there are also being overstressed. So this is an area that um, I think we need intervention. Thirdly and lastly, as a people, the FCT original inhabitants within the law are free to advocate for the preservation, improvement, and representation of their people. Advocate and for encouragement and empowerment, capacity building, and infrastructural development of the territory. The MacArthur Foundation is partnering the Resource Center for Human Rights and Civic Education to work with the Original Inhabitants Development Association of Abuja to advocate justice. I believe that this constitutional reform process is one opportunity out of many that we should take advantage of and try to challenge some of our notions about what is the status of this community, how can we respond to some of their challenges and some of the issues that are arising as a result of the constitutional lacuna that we have found ourselves. And I believe that uh, with good intention and political support, uh, even if we are not able to resolve all the problems of the FCT, of the indigenous people of, of FCT, I'm sure that we may be able to respond to some of the immediate challenges and that's so. all. The two-year project hopes to improve on the constitutional and socio-economic rights and livelihood of the original inhabitants. It hopes to advocate reforms of the political and administrative structure of the Federal Capital Territory. Asma Alwan, Arise News. Okay, oh. let's bring in uh, Kola Shetima, the head of the MacArthur Foundation in Nigeria, for more on this. Very warm welcome to uh, Newsnight Nigeria. So, tell us, I mean, uh, bridging the gap in some of the services you render, mm -hmm. how well, how far? Well, you know that the, the foundation decided to focus on Abuja, uh, partly because, as you know, many, there are many foundations and development agencies in Nigeria, based here in Abuja, but unfortunately, most of us do not work here in Abuja. We have, when we say we have state focus, what we mean is the other 36 states of Nigeria, but not FCT itself. So we thought that this is a major lacuna and a gap because we should be good hosts and we should be good neighbors to the community and the people who are hosting us here in the federal capital territory. And that's why we thought that, that one of the ways what we can do that one is, how can we ensure that the people of Abuja 
deserve get what they deserve mm. because if you look at for example you know this the hilton where we are now this is one of the settlements that was taken over from the original inhabitants of abuja who have now been thrown out and have been given five thousand naira as compensation but you know that now you don't even have a room you can't stay in your room five thousand naira here at the hilton they so this probably would have given them that uh, money uh, when the hilton was being constructed uh, far back in the uh, early and mid 80s uh, that that is true but but, but even if you look at look at the value of what has been taken from them and what they are now their situation now you find that the level of marginalization and the inequality Absolutely. is so white and so gap so would it be sorry yeah. would it be a situation of seeking recompensation for example, on the example you've drawn here. No, I think that definitely, I think as a people, as a country, I think we should consider whether we should give additional support and additional uh, support, whether in terms of land, either in terms of uh, income or in terms of infrastructure, so that instead of, for example, for us to build all the Gusapes infrastructure and other things, maybe what we should do is to go and build up in those rural places and rural areas, so that those places can also the enjoy the same, mm. can have their land can be, have the same value as the one that you can find in Gusape and other things. I right. think that we can redress those I know this is not the first time that we're seeing the MacArthur Foundation really mm. work with indigenous people, because I mm. know that you've done the same in the US but mm -hmm. I know that for this particular fund which is part of a global fund 80 million dollars mm -hmm. um, what sort of assistance really um, are you looking to give to the indigenous people of the FCT so I think that really what really prompted it was the COVID because the, because the COVID in pandemic what the thing that has really come out of it is that the inequalities in our society have become much much more clearer and wider for example if you look at in the US majority of the people who died as a result of the pandemic are black people why is it that they are black people? They are black people because historically, structurally, they are the one at the bottom of the ladder. So you find that even here in our own society, in places like Abuja, when you look at the impact of the COVID, the people who are mostly affected by the COVID are the poor people because one, for example, their own children will never went to school during that time because their children were going to public schools. Whereas mm. our own children were going to the private schools. So which means that our own children, the children of the rich and the powerful have now become much more educated than the children of the poor. Mm. Many of the uh, many of the, uh, the the poor people who were selling granite whatever and all those on the street and other things who have been harassed they were they were the one that who have lost their own income and so there's this inequality that have arisen as a result of the recovery of the of the, of the pandemic mm -hmm. so our own support is how can we in, uh, in, at least in, in, in improve some level of equitable recovery you know what kind of assistant can we give this community so that they can be in a much 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 better position than they are when they were before the pandemic itself and of you're course you're working with civil society organizations mm. on this so how would you determine the success of this because three million dollars coming in it's a, a huge fund so how would you know yes i think it's, it's working three million dollars is huge is fund but you know if you go to <laughs> 10 minutes out of this place, you know, and drive into all the nooks and corners of the federal capital territory, and you see the condition under people. When people talk about cholera in Abuja, where is there cholera in Maitama? Or in Asokoro, there is no You'd cholera. Be but yeah. the, but the, but, the, but most of the cholera cases Absolutely. are those rural uh, places that uh, we don't have any access where, to. Them. Where so they call lungus. The, well, I didn't want to use the lungus, but yes, those lungus are the places where actually all those problems are. So pro, pro, from my own point of view, really is you know how can we. One of them is, as I said, the political situation that we have found ourselves. There's supposed to be a constitutional reform that is going on in the country and other okay. things. You know, for example, can we improve their own political status? in this country okay. mm. so that for example why can't we con can we recognize FCT as a state and given the privilege give them the privileges and the rights of a state which means they can have a governor they can have three senators they can yeah, have the house one. of representatives Absolutely. because even and Washington have their own DC, state house of assembly exactly well very well said the uh, college Shetima, Dr. College Shetima. I hope I got it right yes, yes. Uh, country head of MacArthur Foundation there's uh, so much to interrogate and uh, we shall be calling on you from time to time to dissect these issues.